My eyebrows do look really nice today though, you know. Slay. Hey guys, it's Curtis. I hope you're doing okay. I'm okay and <laughs> I don't make sense. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make some vegan meringue kisses and lollipops. So I started making vegan meringue around the end of July because I had like an eggless cake to make and like I was like, what am I gonna decorate this with? Because I use meringue a lot for like making lollipops and meringue and just all sorts of other stuff. So I was like, I need to do something. So I thought I'd have a go at making some vegan meringue. I remember my previous head of pastry mentioned briefly how I could do that. So I was like, I just kind of winged it. And this is the cake I made. I'll put it on screen. And um, yeah, it came out really, really well. I did have a few issues though. I did mention this on my Instagram. So then I had another eggless cake to make around the start of September. And I made a couple of changes and they were like almost perfect. So I was like, okay. Let's show you guys how to make them. So, um, yes. I don't know why I'm talking like this. So, um, I'm gonna start to get into this video before my voice gets a little bit weird. And, you know, let's go into the video. So, the secret ingredient, what you're going to be needing for these vegan meringues is something called aguafaba. Now, aguafaba is just a really posh word for chickpea water, basically. So, you know, like, cans of chickpeas, I've got one right here. I have loads of these just lying around in the house because I just make my own hummus and I throw them into soups and stuff. Not that you really care. But basically, you'd usually just kind of drain off the water that's in here and just have it go down, go down the sink, rather and you'd never see it again. So what you're gonna to need to do is save that water, weigh that aguafaba. I'm gonna say chickpea water because I feel like an absolute weirdo saying aguafaba. So you're gonna weigh that chickpea water and you're gonna keep that in mind for your next ingredient. So your next ingredient, what you're gonna be needing is some icing sugar. The weight of that icing sugar that you're gonna need is double that of your aguafaba. And that's really the ratios that you need for this. It's as simple as that, really. I'm gonna put my chickpea water into my stand mixer with a whisk attachment, and I'm gonna whisk this up until I get soft peaks. So basically, you're using this aguafaba like you would for a normal sort of egg white. Why? Now, the science behind this, apparently, my, my former head of pastry told me, so I don't know this for facts. Basically, apparently, the chickpea water has a sort of a similar protein build up as um, egg whites so you sort of end up with like a similar product. Now I will tell you that this takes a little bit longer to get to a soft peak than you would from an egg white basically so it took about double the amount of time until I got to this stage and basically I want it so it's starting to sort of make a ripply sort of effect. I don't know if you can see I'm kind of pointing to it right now and I'm giving you a thumbs up which is basically telling you that you can start to uh, add your ice and sugar in at this point. So once you got to this point, add in your icing sugar, one spoonful at a time. You don't want to add this all in at once, otherwise you're going to end up sort of deflating that meringue, which you've just sort of worked hard to get to. So yeah, just add your icing sugar in, one spoonful at a time. Now, I would usually, for a meringue, use caster sugar. And the reason why I'm using icing sugar is just that when I first did this, I used caster sugar. And it was really, really granular. And when you have a granular meringue, you're going to run into a whole host of problems. So I found that using icing sugar just helped it sort of absorb a lot better and I didn't have as many issues as I did. Now I'm just sort of scraping around the side of my bowl because I don't know if you can see there's lots of icing sugar just sort of pushed up against it. I want to make sure everything is fully incorporated. So I'm going to keep mixing this. This does take, again, a little bit longer than it would for a normal rang, about double the amount of time. So this is it at about seven minutes mixing. It's still a little bit runny. You don't want it to be runny at all. So you're going to keep mixing this until you have a really thick, glossy meringue and you will get there eventually. It takes about 15 minutes total, which you might think is a little bit long, but you know, you just got to keep going. So eventually you end up with something like this, a nice stiff meringue. So the next thing I do is I split this up into three bowls. You don't have to do this, but you know, I just want my meringue to look really pretty, but um, I coloured my meringue. I dyed one a sort of a turquoisey colour, one like a baby blue, sky blue colour, and then one a pink colour. And I'm mixing this with a whisk because I find that to be the best way to sort of mix in anything into a meringue without sort of deflating your meringue as you're doing it. So once I've got all my colours, I'm going to put that in a piping bag, fitted with a star nozzle. 
So I'm just piping some meringue kisses, just like I would any sort of meringue really. And I'm also doing some swirls. I just want to do like lots of different things basically. Um, so yeah, I'm just going along my baking sheet line with some parchment paper and going along. Ooh, ooh. That meringue kiss looks a little bit dodgy, doesn't it? And then now I'm doing some meringue lollipops. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing some little rosettes along my uh, baking sheet and doing some really small and then some kind of like a medium size. I like to do them all like various sizes when I do meringue lollipops. I'm just inserting some lollipop sticks into my meringues. And once I've done that, I'm gonna put my meringues into a oven at 100 degrees centigrade. I'm gonna bake it for about an hour. It may need to take a little bit longer for the meringue lollipops because they're a little bit bigger, so obviously it's gonna take a little bit longer to dehydrate. So maybe like an hour and a half for them. But once they're done, they should look something like this. Now I will say that not 100% perfect. You will end up with some of them cracking like this one has here. Um, I find that to be really unavoidable. Um, but they don't look too bad. And look on the inside, they look like actual meringue. And they taste like meringue as well. Well, I'm being, I'm actually lying a little bit there. They don't taste exactly like a meringue. Like, they taste kind of like a sugar-coated cornflake. Like, you know, frosties. Like, I don't know if, like, the whole world has frosties, but I'll explain. Basically, it's a cornflake coated with some sugar, and it's just, yeah, it's really, really nice and sugary and unhealthy. But it kind of tastes a little bit like that. It has, like, a little bit of a cornflakey taste. I don't know if that's because it's chickpea water. I don't know, but yeah, it kind of tastes a little bit like that. But I think for a vegan alternative, torn, alternative? <laughs> I think that for a vegan alternative, this is a really good um, substitute, Bailey. And they look really, really pretty when you use them as a decoration on the cake as well. If you love these vegan meringues as much as I do, then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Both those buttons are just down there, so make sure you click both of those. It'll make me very, very happy. And follow me on all my social media bits. I'll leave the links for those all in the description box below. So you can check me out on there, see what I'm up to in the kitchen and in life, and I don't know if you care, but yeah, you can if you want to, you don't have to, but I'd like it if you did. And um, yeah, I'm gonna leave this video here. I don't really have anything else to say. So I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week, and I'll see you all on my next video. So until then, take care and bye.